season five opens up with them kind of coming back and like with the people from Woodbury. And so then you're kind of like, okay, cool. There, it's Woodbury and the prison coming together. And then, and then I think it, it right at the end of season, uh, I lied. I think it's mid season finale of season five. You just see the, um, like, I think it's the episode right before the mid-season finale, and you just see just how insane the governor has actually become. Of first, like, starting off as, like, changing his name, making up a completely new name for himself. And then, um, I think it's Walter, I think it is, or someone like that. It's something bizarre. And I, I kind of want to know, actually, where does he get that idea? But... If you read the comics, you you notice how much of a difference that actually was, because in the comics he has Woodbury behind him the whole time. Woodbury sticks behind um, the governor the whole time. They don't ever run, and he never destroys it. But you also see how messed up Michonne um, makes him, because she ends up going back and just basically trying to kill him, but keeping him alive enough. That he's not going to die. And then... Mid-season finale of... Just... Pff, the, the whole prison just going down. And then you have... Then you... and then, Oh, and then... Rick and... Um, the governor. Their little battle there. With each other. Of like, let's fight it all out. Um, and so... And Rick almost dying at the end of that. Um, and then... And then, I, th I think it's Terminus? The, like, the rest of the season is devoted to them finding Terminus. And then, at the end of the season, it, I'm pretty sure it's the end of season f f five. That it ends with them um, actually finding Terminus. And you, s like, you constantly are seeing the groups go there. Like you find you see um Glenn and then he finds Maggie and then they go off to Terminus and they and they plan to start a life there. And then which you never see what happens to them. And then season six starts with that. Is cause you season five ends with um with uh Michonne Rick, Carl, and Daryl all finding, um, they all find each other, and then all go to Terminus together. And that's how it ends, is with them actually at Terminus, and them going into a cart. Um, and then into a, like, into a, a train cart, or whatever you want to call it. And then season six starts with that, is them trying to plan their escape from there, and just killing, like, everybody. It was insane. But I did like it how, um, if you s notice from season, I think it's season four, the, um, well, there's a character that comes back from season four into season six. Um, if you notice the first person to actually die at Terminus when they're sitting there over the, um, when, right, once they slice their throats, well, knock them out, slice their throats, if you notice the first person that they end up killing was actually someone Rick had met. That Rick and Carol had met. And they were planning to take them back to the um, prison. And so... And, but you never know what happened to him. You know what happened to his girlfriend. She ends up getting eaten. But you never know what actually ever happens to him. And they assume that he's dead. So then... that um, And then that happens. And I found out that it actually... the. Um, that guy, who, the first one who actually dies, actually was the brother of someone, um, like, the person who, like, was killing him, actually was his brother. <laughs> it was kind of interesting to find that out. Um, but so then, yeah, then season six is them going to Terminus, and that, well, that's for, like, an episode. And then them finding, um, trying to find, for most of the whole season is them trying to find a place and then um 
Then all in the mix is um, that um, because before they went to ter Terminus, Daryl and Beth were together um, trying to make it through this and found out, and then Beth ends up getting kidnapped. And I'm pretty sure after that it is they go to uh, that they go to the church, and they just chillax at the church for a little bit, and then. Um, with Father Gabriel, and that was pretty interesting. Father Gabriel was a pretty interesting person. Um, now, now that I think of it, I think I have all my seasons wrong, but you know, we're just gonna we're just gonna pretend that I actually know what I'm talking about here. But so, <laughs> um, yeah. So then, um, yeah. Then it's I'm trying to get Beth back. And I think it's mid-season finale is Beth's death. That was the most depressing episode ever. Oh my god. With Beth dying and then you sit there and you watch Daryl sit there and cry. Like the, the, the manliest guy on the show sits there and cries. And it, it just, oh, it was terrible. I hated it watching it. Because it was so depressing watching it. And then you also see him carry down Beth's body and then and see Maggie's reaction when she first gets there is that she's just devastated because she didn't get to um because her sister had died before she got there. And that was just completely depressing. And then when I found out that shoot that you actually watch, um, that shot that you watch of Daryl actually bringing uh, Beth down was actually um, he had to keep doing that and I think they did it like 22 times or something like that which is insane and he got really tired and um, like by the last shoot he was just so exhausted because he, he was actually carrying the actress who played Beth he was not carrying a dummy he was carrying her and so he was kind of like ugh and so then um, season Actually, I think this is all in season five. In all honesty, I think I have my things messed next up because I'm pretty sure season six was Alexandria, it was mostly all of Alexandria, and you meet the idiots of Alexandria. Yes, it was. It was because the I think it was the mid season finale was Glenn's death. I'm pretty sure something like that. And oh, I lied. No, no, no. I'm thinking of something else. But then you think that, um, then season six comes around, and you sit there and you watch it, and you think that, like, Glenn dies. <laughs> it was insane. I was, and I did like it how so for three episodes, until you actually find out that Glenn has not died. They had taken his, um, the actor's name completely off of, um, like, when they sit there in, in the theme song, um, well, in the, when the opening title, whatever the heck you want to call it, they had taken his name off of it completely so that you would actually believe that he was actually dead. <laughs> I hated that. I was like, oh, my God, he actually died that way. I was like, he totally died a different way than the comics. Oh, my God. What the heck? Then you find out that he actually lives, and then you're like, oh, are you serious? Um, and then, and then, season six, there's a lot of deaths. Oh my goodness. Even the ending of season six was death. Oh my god. Season six ends with them sitting there and them meeting Megan. And them sitting there saying, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. And you don't, oh, I hated it. I hated it. Was because all you, um, the ending of season six is you just sit there and watch someone die, but you don't know who it is because you are seeing it from their perspective. Because you just sit there and see the blood just drip down their head and you don't know who it is. And you sit there and they actually purposely made it so that you, um, because actually someone at my school who I was talking to about Walking Dead, he made a, a seating chart of where was everyone kneeling. And he looked it up and he could not figure it out. They purposely did that, apparently, uh, that you could not do that. 
and ask you serious right now. Okay, so then, um, so yeah, and then season seven comes back with you finally figuring out who that actually was. Even though season seven, episode one, takes forever for you to finally see who dies. But if you read the comics, you kind of already knew who was going, um, who was, who it was. Even though they had changed up the the who actually gets picked, because in the comics it originally was Glenn, and so right off the bat you knew that it was Glenn, but you didn't. Um, but when they sat there and they killed Abraham instead, you were kind of like, oh well, I already knew that kind of too because he was already supposed to die. Because in the comics, the way that um, the doc uh, the doctor dies in the show was the way Abraham was actually supposed to go. He was supposed to get shot by the bow and arrow. And, oh, well, the crossbow, and get killed. But he didn't. And so you kind of already knew that he was already on death row, basically, that he was going to die. And then um, then the rest of Season 7 was just sitting there making Rick just look like a pathetic character. I hated that. That the whole season... He did nothing. In the comics, he is actually like portrayed as a very strong character and that he would do anything for his people. In the show, he's not. In the show, he is portrayed as a very weak person. A very weak character, and I hated that. Oh my god, I could not stand that just how weak he actually seemed in the show. And how he does. And that it, it was just insane. Ugh hated that but yeah and so then you go on with season seven and you watch him sit there and just take it from like just alexandria itself just take it a, um taking a beating from the saviors of them coming every like week or so and taking their stuff and you're just like oh my god rick why don't you actually like, try to help your people here <coughs> oh excuse me the like why? Why don't you try to do anything, Rick? Mm. But so, yeah. And then you sit there and you watch it. Of oh, just them taking a beating. And then, at the end of the season, you're like, Yes! Let's go! Because that is when you meet... Um, well, that's when King Ezekiel comes in and just is like, You know what? We're going to end this. We're starting this revolution of raising an army together and let's just get them and then you also see the combination of the kingdom meeting the hilltop and combining forces together i love that it was amazing so yeah um